Hello Leo, welcome to another love reading. We're gonna be looking at who or what is coming towards you in love. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they will not be every Leo's story. So if this is not your story, do not try to make it fit. Just look at the Leo playlist linked in the description box. There's tons of videos there for your sign. So let's jump right in. For Leo spirit, what can they expect in love? Okay, fork in the road. So some sort of decision. Someone has to make a decision that will lead them to down uh, different paths here. This could be you or your person having to make this decision. There's something about like a festival, farmer's market thing, maybe like Ford celebration, something happens there. Obviously that's not for everyone. I'm just seeing um, some sort of like event, public event. What's going on for Leo? Okay. Burdened heart, what's going on for Leo? Some sort of obligation, burden weighing heavy on someone's heart. Ah. Second chances. And then I'm not gonna take these, but we'll look at them because there's just way too many. This is from my Seller Energy Oracle deck, which is linked down below if you're curious. Reach out, okay, hidden motives, taking action, looking inward and breathe in. So someone here has not been open about what they want to achieve. We have like three cards here about like hidden energies, secret energies, quiet energies, and then we have a communication card and an action card. So I feel like someone here wants to maybe unburden themselves unload themselves right like just open up here we'll see what's at the bottom of the deck i'm just curious bountiful harvest so this is about growth abundance patience watching something grow over time taking your um time growing something i feel like this is happening over time and that's not typically like the energy of this card but that's what i'm getting because this is growth abundance patience plant seeds now watch them grow and enjoy the fruits of your labor so this is more a card about taking your time with someone watching you grow and having the abundance from it but i'm getting here more than any anything that something's been going on for some time enough for someone to now be burdened by it Okay, Spirit, tell me more for Leo. What can they expect in love for Leo? What can they expect in love? Six of coin, the sun, the tower. Oh my goodness. You know, it's interesting um, because when I see the sun with the tower, I think of a huge reveal bottom of the deck is strength there you are leo your energy okay i'm gonna have to clarify to see what the heck is going on because i feel like the sun and the tower together it's like something's coming to light but the six of coin here is a card about giving receiving balance So let's see what this is about first. Tell me about the six of coin, please. It could definitely be somebody wanting a second chance here with you or wanting to maybe avoid a tower. Why is the six of coin here? The empress, oh my God, okay. Why is the six of coin here? Death, Scorpio energy. Why is the six of coin here? 10 of pentacles. With the four of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, I feel like maybe something ended here already with the Scorp with the Scorpio card, with the death card. Maybe there was some an ending, a separation that someone's now wanting to make right. With the Empress card, I feel like you've leveled up in some way. I think this is how they view you, someone with a lot of worth, a lot of value. For some of you, um, this is very a very small number of you. There's like a parental figure that got in the way here. Maybe because of tradition, culture. I don't know why I'm getting culture, but I'm getting cultural differences here. 
that's just for a small number of you, but I see it there. Um, I feel like um, this had a lot of potential, the Ten of Pentacles, or this person sees a lot of potential with you. It's really hard to let you go because of how special you are, is what I'm getting here. The Hangman and the Four of Cups. Okay, so all these energies here are telling me that someone has been thinking about this, but hasn't done anything about it. So they see you in this way. They might want to rebalance the situation with the Six of Pentacles. Um, but the Hangman and the Four of Cups with the Four of Pentacles is someone that's holding back due to rejection or fear of rejection. Or maybe they have to hold back because they're stuck in another situation. But I mean, they want to do something about it with the Magician here. It's just they're not. Tell me about the Sun. There's like a holding back energy. Why is the sun here? Temperance. Sagittarius energy. More balance here. Why is the sun here? The devil. Capricorn energy. Wow, these are a lot of major arcanas. Which are telling me that there's going to be major shifts in energy happening here. Tell me about the sun. Something got out of control. I'm getting a lot of messages. I normally don't get messages like this, but I am for you. A situation got out of someone's control and they're trying to fix it now. Or at least it's like they want to backtrack. And maybe you have to make a decision about this. The two of wands is here. The fork in the road energy. Maybe someone's going to be asking for a second chance. You know, maybe they're not doing so well. And the choice is up to you. I feel like you've gotten that reading multiple times now. So I'm getting the sense that. If this has been your reading for some time, Leo, this person just hasn't come forward. Possibly because it would be a tower moment. Like it would be so shocking, so unexpected from, you know, for them to contact you or tell you this, or they would have to cause a tower in order to send this message. Because the Eight of Wands is here at the bottom of the deck. Okay, I'll go back. I'll come back to that two of wands in a second. Tell me about the tower. Why is the tower here? Page of wands. Yeah, this is like someone causing. It's like someone's taking the initiative here or taking some sort of action that brings about a tower. Wow, the ace of cups. Tell me about the tower. Why is the tower here? Oh my gosh, I got it a lot. Two of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're going to... It's like there's a difficult decision tied to all of this. Four of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. This is like the little Empress. Little Queen of Pentacles. Let me look at this Two of Wands and the Two of Swords. Spirit, tell me about the Two of Wands and the Two of Swords. What's this decision about, Spirit? for Leo, please. The Two of Wands and the Two of Swords. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Tell me about the Two of Wands and the Two of Swords. King of Pentacles. Tell me about the Two of Wands and the Two of Swords. Why are the Two of Wands? Two of Swords here. Death, Scorpio energy. And then there's the Devil at the bottom of the deck again. So this is all related. This could be involving two different people. King of Wands, King of Pentacles. I feel like death is here twice because this decision is tied to some sort of an ending. Maybe this decision is to end something or change something. Um, maybe this is a decision that has to do with like choosing between two different people. But I feel like this tower is allowing a new beginning to, to be possible with Ace of Cups. However, the Four of Swords, you know, it's very strange um, because the Four of Swords doesn't take action and they don't communicate. They're resting, relaxing, healing, reflecting. So when I see it with the Tower, it's almost like this is like a sudden message or some it's, it's like it's like someone's just sleeping and then they suddenly wake up and do something. That's the energy I'm getting. Now, the devil coming out twice, kind of concerning to me, especially because we already saw the hangman. 
And temperance, this is that energy of something slowly over time coming together. So I feel like this is a revelation or something coming to light that has been like simmering under the surface. Let me talk, let me ask about this um devil energy. My gosh, the nine of swords. Tell me about the devil. I'm also getting here two very different approaches to an ending. So it could be a very logical, balanced, rational approach with the King of Pentacles. They don't like taking risks. They take their time very slow. The King of Wands is the opposite. They just want to kind of do it, get it done, take action. So that could also be the case there. Tell me about the devil. What's going on here with the devil for Leo, please? What's going on here with the devil? Four of Cups again. Okay, tell me about the devil. Tell me about the devil the seven of swords see this is this concerns me because the seven of swords with the devil is someone that is continuously making the wrong choice um or is sneaking behind someone's back the devil is about temptation lust and restriction and attachments right but more than that, the devil is about how your need for instant gratification, instant satisfaction, and your need to have your basic needs met or your basic desires met leads you to make difficult choices or wrong choices that leave you feeling stuck. That's what the devil is about. Event you, you, you end up being stuck, unless you're dealing with a Capricorn, but that's neither here nor there. However, when you clarify with a card like the Seven of Swords, it's like someone's stuck because of their own behavior. And the Four of Cups is a card about not being open to new opportunities, not being open to what's right in front of you. You're too focused on what's already happened. So it's almost like someone could be repeating a cycle here of bad behavior. Maybe someone's waking up to this with the sun. I mean, that's the positive way that I can see this. You know, it's like someone's realizing that their own behavior has led them to uh, this difficulty or has led to this tower. Oh my gosh, I just got very dizzy. Tell me about the devil, please. The nine of swords, which came out was at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, th this isn't good energy here. And there's the four of wands at the bottom of the deck. So Leo, this is obviously, it's gonna make more sense to those of you watching where you know the circumstances of your situation already, right? You already know the moving parts, you already know what's going on. However, the tarot is not so specific. So I have to kind of fill in the gaps the best that I can. I feel like whatever's going on here, it could be that someone's putting on a pretty face or putting on a happy smile when things aren't so happy right there things aren't are, aren't well um but with the tower and the sun like i said earlier i feel that there's a reveal here something's toppling down um and i don't know what this is but i feel like it's going to force someone to wake up someone has been just kind of coasting here and i feel like they're going to be forced to wake up i don't know it's very strange energy because it's like someone wants to balance things out with the Six of Pentacles, but they might be making things worse or their approach is going to cause this big blow up, right? Because towers aren't the easiest. They're, they're very shocking and unexpected, so you can't really prepare for them. So let's look at this person you're dealing with, right? Because maybe I'll get a little more insight there for you on to what you can expect from a specific person. I feel like there's a decision here, a difficult decision that I feel you have to make. It's like the decision is for you to make, but it could also be that this person is the one that has to make a decision. Although from what I've seen here, one of you has been making the wrong decisions over and over. Okay, so let's ask Spirit. Spirit, tell me about this person Leo is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this other person? Yeah. What do we need to know about this other person? 
that Leo is, has, or will be dealing with spirit for July. What do we need to know about this other person? Wow, the <laughs> Queen of Swords in the Tower. And I'm just going to grab a random one here. Queen of Wands. Okay, so again, two different people. Emperor energy at the bottom of the deck. Aries energy there. I feel like the Queen of Swords with the Tower could be a shocking revelation, a shocking tower, a truth that brings down a tower, right? But the Queen of Wands with the Tower card could also be someone's actions, right? Because the Queen of Wands is very bold. They get what they want. They get what they want, or you know, they go after what they want and they get it. So I'm just going to clarify the tower, because otherwise I'll be here all day <laughs> trying to clarify this, because I feel like there's multiple scenarios that this could like. There's multiple Leos that this is going to be for, and you're all dealing with very different things. Spirit, tell me about this tower. Tell me about this tower for Leo, the hangman. See, it's like someone was hanging around and this tower happens. Someone was stuck and this tower happens. Tell me about the tower. Strength, there you are Leo once again. Tell me about the tower please. Why is the tower here? The magician, wow, all three major arcanas. Bottom of the deck, the Four of Wands again. Why the Magician? Why is the Magician here? Two of Pentacles, there's that choice again. Why is the Magician here, Spirit? Why is the Magician here? Ten of Swords, the ending. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I don't think there, this is relevant here. Eight of Swords behind that. Okay, let's not focus there because I feel like I'll get distracted. I think that this is this tower is going to open up a bunch of paths for you, for this person. You're someone's gonna have to make a choice because I feel like this tower is going to cause some sort of an ending. Ten of Swords. Maybe someone manifested this ending, and then it opens up the room for choice. I feel like this tower is going to force someone to make a decision. So I don't know if this is you or your person, but one of you is going to have to make a decision. And I feel like when that decision is made or when that decision is presented to someone, they have to choose. And I feel like this hangman energy, it's almost like they've been avoiding making this decision. Tell me about this person that Leo is, has, or will be dealing with. What are their energies towards Leo, please? Please forgive me. What are their energies towards Leo? I see you in my dreams. Okay. I'm starting to wonder if you're even with this person. Uh, whoever this is, I don't think that... I think there might have been a separation already. So maybe this is all happening with a third party or this is happening outside of your connection or maybe this happened recently or will be happening in, happening in the near future. Some sort of a tower between you and this person. But the second chances card is telling me that maybe you already have a history with this person and they're still kind of thinking about you and wanting forgiveness. Message of concern. Yeah, I think this person is going to reach out. There's despair at the bottom of the deck. Whoever this is, they're not doing well. Um, let me get one more for this Two of Pentacles. I keep clarifying and I don't really get more insight because I feel like Spirit is telling me the message is the message. No matter like how much you clarify it, but I'm going to try one more time. Spirit, can I get one more energy please for this Two of Pentacles? What can you tell us about this choice? We already got the Ten of Swords. What else, Spirit? What else for Leo? What else do we need to know? What? what else do we need to know about this Two of Pentacles? The Three of Swords. Oh my God. Very painful energies here. And then we have the Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So this might very well have to do 
with the third person. Someone's going to have to choose, and it's going to be a painful choice. I think it's probably someone having to choose between the third party and you. Or having to, ch and that third party does not have to be another person. It could be long distance, a job, a family member, an addiction, etc., etc., etc. But the choice has to be made because I feel like this choice has been avoided long enough. They've they've avoided this long enough. It's not going to happen. It's now or never, basically. So that's what I have for you, Leo. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I would love to have you. And I appreciate all of your support, your likes, shares, subscribes. Thank you so much. And hopefully I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.